Fox and Curry having words. Harsh talk here in the fourth. Joying at each other while play continues. And a double foul is going to be called. Channing Fry getting in between LeBron James and Sense. LeBron with a shove on Curry, and that's a foul. LeBron James shoving Steph Curry. Curry drives again. Left hand is blocked by James. And the two of them have some words. And these two just talking, going back and forth. As the playoff series goes on, tempers flare. We get heated. To end the 2010 season, Kobe Bryant had secured his basketball legacy by winning his second title after Shaq and his fifth championship total, proving he was an all-time basketball legend. At that point in time, Kobe was about to turn 32 years old. To end the 2022 season, a 34-year-old Steph Curry led the Golden State Warriors on his own run that now has us legitimately ask, is he? the greatest point guard of all time, over a three-time MVP and five-time champion in Magic Johnson, which should be enough to talk about already, if not for the fact that two years before that, LeBron James won his own finals MVP at the age of 35. And now, at the age of 37, if LeBron were to come through and win a championship in a field that feels very much wide open, does he re-enter the race strongly against Michael Jordan for who is the best basketball player to ever live? To say the stakes are incredibly high for both Steph Curry and LeBron James when it comes to this year's postseason, when it comes to their basketball legacies and careers going forward would be an understatement, but also what needs to be asked is is this the new normal so what's up guys mike here and just jumping right into this should we expect older stars to play into their late 30s and perform at this high of a level in the playoffs that is what i wanted to get into that is an answer we are going to get by the end of this video because if there is one thing we can definitely agree on what is not normal is this looking at the last 20 nba finals winners we see that there are two, only two players that are 34 years or older. Those players are, of course, Steph Curry and LeBron James. Not a single other Finals MVP in the last 20 years was even 33 years old, and the last NBA Finals MVP that was older than Steph Curry other than LeBron James was Michael Jeffrey Jordan in 1998. Before that, we have to go to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in 1985. So let's be clear here. Older stars winning at this high of a level is not normal. So really, what we have to look for now is, are there signs for a trend? And what does this mean for everyone else? If stars like Steph and LeBron are extending their careers out, does that mean that it will be harder for players to reach the NBA if these older stars are taking up roster spots? What does this mean for the younger players who need the best coaching staffs to develop, but suddenly might find in a very real situation, a 35-year-old Joe Ingles or Mike Conley taking their spot? How about a 36 Six year old Jeff Green or Al Horford, or maybe a 37 year old Kyle Lowry. But guys, before we continue, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, a long friend of this channel, DraftKings. Because, of course, as we continue on, as each round passes, and as the stakes continue to get higher and higher for each team, DraftKings Sportsbook is upping the stakes for new customers. That is right, DraftKings Sportsbook is hooking you guys up. New customers bet just $5 on any pregame money line wager and receive $150 in both bonus bets if that bet hits. And if you're wondering what you could use those bonus bets on, you can try parlaying multiple games together all in one bet so that you have a chance at bigger winnings. And if mobile sports betting is not yet in your state, do not worry. You can still get in the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy, where they offer cash prizes for nearly every sport. Which means right now, go download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, use promo code CORZEMBA, bet $5 on any pregame money line wager, and get $150 in bonus bets if your bet hits. Thank you again to DraftKings Sportsbook for sponsoring today's video. For now, let's get back into the video. In terms of playoff opportunities, it is clear those mostly go to the older veteran stars, even if they are very past their prime. However, the league has always watched as certain stars have aged a bit more gracefully. Some all-stars end up becoming role players, while others can't seem to learn how to pass the ball and completely fall apart. Just a few examples, Dennis Rodman was 37 on the 98 Bulls, Kareem was 40 on the 88 Lakers, and David West was 37 when he was just giving the 
2018 Warriors playoff minutes. And what is interesting is this is not a league-wide situation for the average player, which might be pointing to the fact that what Steph and LeBron are doing is just incredible. Because league-wide, the average age for the average NBA player has actually gotten lower, sitting at just 26.01 years to begin this year, according to the annual NBA GM survey. According to this data collected, for reference, the average age in 1952 was 26.4. 1962, 26.2. 1982, 26.4. It seems like the average age of 26 is a weirdly classic number for an NBA player. There was actually a spike in the NBA's average age from 1997 to 2001. There, we jumped up to an average age of 28, but we've gone back down to 26 again. And so that means that the NBA as a whole is not being affected. The younger players are certainly still getting their opportunities. Instead, it appears that certain athletes who are the most dedicated to their craft seem to be taking advantage of everything modern science and modern medicine can give them. Because also, in terms of big time stars playing at a high level like this. Stephen Murray guarding Curry. Drives past him, scoop layup off the glass. He's got 30. Curry with Murray on him. Three pointer. Puts it in. Oh, Steph Curry from way downtown. Six of 16 from three. Gets it back. Curry, three pointer. You might look at players like Kevin Durant or Jimmy Butler or even Chris Paul and think that, wow, there are certainly a lot of old guys in this year's playoffs, but the only new trend here is LeBron and Seth. Looking back at the year 2010, we watched as an older Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, and Kevin Garnett battled it out across from an older Kobe Bryant who had just taken down a 36-year-old Steve Nash in the Western Conference Finals. Old stars going head-to-head -head in the playoffs is nothing new. Back in the 2000 playoffs, 34-year-old Reggie Miller helped lead the Indiana Pacers to the NBA Finals, helping to take down 37-year-old Patrick Ewing. But the key, key takeaway here is this. While NBA history usually does give us these stars in their twilight years, making deep playoff runs, what we don't ever, ever see is these stars putting teams on their back and redefining their legacies. Because after looking all throughout NBA history, it is quite clear what Steph Curry and LeBron James are doing is historic. We should be soaking up every single moment of their playoff series of the rest of whoever wins playoff run and really from here, the rest of their careers. We are watching two players, I would say at this point, we have the privilege to watch play basketball. Steph Curry is currently doing everything as if he were filling out the end of his career to make it a perfect book or movie. Before last season, we did not have a Steph Curry's finals MVP. Of course, he then went out and became the fourth oldest finals MVP since 1985 while carrying a Golden State Warriors team that he helped build into one of the premier franchises in the entire NBA to a final all-time dynasty ceiling win. And after that finals win, many, almost every single person in the entire world would be fine, would be satisfied with their NBA career, but not Steph Curry. Instead, after game six against the Sacramento Kings this season, going into a game seven, do or die, Steph gathered his teammates around him before they took their trip and gave them a motivational speech that they would later say gave them goosebumps. Throughout his entire career, Steph Curry has shown the type of leadership that is more set an incredible example and then others will follow. Draymond is the voice of the Golden State Warriors. We can hear him from here. The thing is though, this was a game seven for Steph Curry, one of the most competitive players the NBA has ever seen. This was his career. And so he told his entire team that if they put all of the bullshit aside that had happened, and if they got on that bus with him, Steph would guarantee he was going to do whatever it took to win that game. And as we know, they did get on that bus. And Steph would also drop 50 points with Draymond saying, once he did that, you have no choice but to rise up. He got everybody locked in. If you're getting on this bus, you're making a commitment to this team. No matter if you play zero minutes or 40 minutes, you're making a commitment to do whatever it takes. Prepare your mind and body for this opportunity we have. We got embarrassed the other night and we are never going out like that. That. A pretty awesome speech, I would say. Definitely seemed to work. And as for LeBron, we know the stakes. We know that if the finals roll around and the Lakers are there, the GOAT conversation will be alive and well again. And that is a conversation that is a big one, one that we will save for a later time. So make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that way you don't miss that conversation. And thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I cannot wait to watch the rest of this NBA playoffs. I cannot wait to watch. I'll say I'm rooting for Steph. Steph is possibly my favorite player ever. But I just decided that possibly. If you're already subscribed, thank you for watching. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that.
music. If you're still here while the music is cued, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. I mean, personally, I think the one on the left might be more your style, but the one on the right looks pretty awesome too. Click one, let me know what you think. And again, have an awesome day.